Hello everyone and welcome to the first course on learning Android development with Kotlin. If you've been looking for where to start learning Android development, then this course is definitely for you. This course assumes you have no programming or Android development experience because we'll be starting from scratch and work our way up into building a complete Android app. For this course, you'll learn how to build a simple but fun game called Bullseye where the player is taxed with guessing the target value using a slider. This course is meant for folks at all levels of programming. It's good for experienced developers if you're just new to Android and Kotlin, and it's also good for people who have never programmed at all. You create Bullseye using Kotlin programming language, and you also use XML for building the interfaces. We'll begin by learning what Kotlin and Android are. You get to know why most modern apps use Kotlin programming language and what Android really means from a developer's perspective. Then, you download and set up Android Studio and install all the components necessary to start developing Android apps. Next, you create the basic user interface for the Bullseye app. You do this using both XML, which is a markup language, and the design view. Then, in the next part, you learn how to connect the layout you created to code to add interactivity. You do this by learning how to work with something called an activity in Android. You finish the app by displaying a pop-up dialog whenever the button is tapped. In the process of building the app, you learn about the basics of Kotlin programming language. You learn about variables, functions, classes, and other language features. You learn how to work with the Kotlin standard library, which provides lots of tools so we don't have to reinvent the wheel for common functionalities. Then you learn about conditional statements like the if-else statement. And along the way, you learn how to refactor your code to reduce the amount of lines of code it takes to implement the functionality. This course is designed to be hands-on, where we'll be building the app together step by step. It's very important you don't just watch the exercises, but actually follow along. You open up Android Studio, type along with me, and run the app we'll be building in an emulator. This helps you understand that the app gets built step by step. In addition, this course contains several hands-on challenges where you get to practice what you've learned on your own. It's in your best interest to actually pause the video and try solving the challenges. You learn a lot by doing this because there's a big difference between knowing the path and actually walking the path. And the only way to learn programming is to actually do it. It is my sincere belief that this course and those that follow in our Android beginners learning path can turn you from a complete newbie into an accomplished Android developer, but you have to put in the time and effort. By making this course, we've done our path and the rest is up to you. I'm super excited to start this off and I believe you are too. So let's blast off into our Android adventure by taking a look at what exactly Kotlin and Android are. I'll see you in the next one.